Um, Mitt Romney looks like he's pretty, pretty, it's pretty likely he's going to become the nominee. Um, you also do work for Scott Brown. What's going to happen if the, he's the nominee and you know, Scott Brown's going to run for election too? What are your plans? Well, look, I, you know, I, I, I think one of the two big unreported stories of the Scott Brown campaign are number one, he didn't throw our primary challenge. And I think the Democrats in Massachusetts were hoping uh, that someone from among the Tea Party uh, would emerge to, to run against Scott because Scott has been more of a centrist, more of an independent vote. That didn't happen. Then I think the second most important thing that could happen for Scott Brown is for Mitt Romney to become the nominee. That doesn't mean Mitt Romney's going to win Massachusetts because Massachusetts is a deep blue state. But Mitt Romney will keep it close in Massachusetts, uh, whereas a Rick Santorum or a Newt Gingrich would not. And so uh, it's, it's important for uh, Mitt Romney to be the nominee, not just for Scott Brown, but for George Allen in Virginia. Virginia's a big swing state. Uh, for, for Senator Heller out in Nevada and up and down the ticket. Uh, I think they need a strong nominee uh, like, like Scott Brown, who does, I'm sorry, like Mitt Romney, who doesn't scare away uh, the independent vote. So you think Mitt Romney will end up helping Scott Brown in Massachusetts? Yes, absolutely. Are you concerned at all about, obviously it's a presidential year, the, 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 the large number of people that tend to not vote, vote in presidential years. Uh, how do you think that's going to impact Brown? Well, you know, I, I like to tell people the story about uh, his uh, special election to the state Senate in 2004, where the Democrats rigged the election so that it was held on the same day as the presidential primary that year when John Kerry was at the top of the ticket. Yeah. Uh, and, and Scott Brown won that special election by 1% of the vote. Then he had to run again in November uh, when John Kerry was the nominee, uh, and there was a big Democrat turnout in Massachusetts, and Scott Brown increased uh, the, the margin of his, his victory to hold on to that state Senate seat. And I think you're going to see the same thing happen with the U.S. Senate.